Okay, so if you have a notchy shifter in your C5 and it's kind of old like this, I would suggest doing this because why not? <laughs> it is amazing how much difference just that little bit. <laughs> Whoa! There you go. Good job. Resistance going into reverse is is gone. Smooth butter. Oh man, that went right into reverse. So smooth. Man, that works good. It's like a new shifter. What's up YouTube? All right, so uh, I've had a little bit of a uh, notchy shifter on my 2003 Corvette Z06. I keep saying that wrong. But uh, today I'm going to pull the shifter out and I'm going to lubricate the uh, nylon bushing as well as the um, shifter itself. And uh, perhaps adjust a little bit because it looks like it's over to the driver's side just a tad. Um, apparently I didn't adjust it right when I put it in to begin with and it's just barely out because it was fine for a while. But I'm going to try this. It's got 100,000 miles and it's, you know, it was made in October of 02 and this is May of 19. So it's quite, it's about time. So um, I don't want to put an aftermarket shifter in there because, you know, they're short throw and it just, I don't want to do it. I want to try to lubricate this because someone on the forum said that they actually lubricated theirs and it was like butter. So um, that's what I'm going to do. So enjoy the video. It only took me about five minutes to uh, to pull all this apart. So there's four 10 millimeter bolts here. You just gotta be careful uh, popping this little part loose. It's not real hard, just on the sides right here. Right on the side, it pops right out. But uh, there's a uh, the uh, gas cap. It's, it's actually on the back portion, but it's kind of hard to get to. Cigarette letter plug. That's also on the on the back portion, but it's pretty easy. So there's two plugs on the back portion. Literally five minutes or less. Uh, it's much faster um, doing it the second time. So uh, there's four 10 millimeter bolts in this back portion. Uh, you just take that off and then... Uh, oh yeah, there's the... Uh, there's like the T15. Uh, Torx to get this one and the two there and then this whole uh, section comes off and then there's four more uh, 10 millimeters to pull that little rubber bracket rubber portion off here and uh, we're, we're down to the shifter now and there are three uh, looks like Torx and I'm about to pull my um, big torques out of the the uh, toolbox but also there's four of these here that uh, this actually pulls the whole shifter thing out which I'm going to lubricate and then I'm going to readjust it by uh, doing these three so I'm going to get these four out uh, but first you got to push this little pin thing down while it's in neutral, which I did not do last time, but it worked out great until it didn't. So I'm going to do that now. So this little pin 
has teeth here and you push looks like it slides down let me see it yeah it slides down all the way to the bottom and I guess that locks it in the neutral position so you can adjust the uh, the linkage here um, so you adjust this linkage as well as the mounting point um, oh it says Z06 over there Z06 so apparently this bracket this whole box here is different for the Z06 than it is for the uh, regular coupe so I'm gonna do that next pull these push that pin down pull these four out and then lubricate let me try to use this here needle nose vice grips Hey, that worked perfectly. Um, yeah, it went all the way down. Perfect. Um, so now it won't shift anywhere. So that means I got it adjusted right the first time. That's good. Um, no, they're tins. Okay. These are like, feels like self-starters, but they're not. Let me see if I can lift this thing from the back. And it comes straight out. I didn't even, when I did the clutch job, I didn't even bother with the pen, and it worked out. It took me a minute to get it readjusted afterwards, but. I mean, it was working fine. I was like perfect. Probably better than it was from, uh, than when I first got it. Whoa, that was easy. Okay. Um, let me put the pin back in. All right, cool. Came right out. Okay, here's what it looks like inside. Whoops. There you go. I think my little Harbor Freight light is, uh, battery's running out. Uh, but I did notice, you can see a little bit now, the dust down there. And that is from, I believe, the wear on this little nylon uh, bushing that goes right there. Um, and it, it was, uh, I think that's still, yeah, that's still from before. Um, so, so I'm gonna lubricate um, anywhere that I can, probably here and there, and then. Okay, so the uh, lubricant, I'm, lubricant I'm going to use is this here, brake parts e lubricant, silicone ceramic extreme. Temperatures are. Negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Lubricates caliper, hardware backing plates, rubber, and plastic brake components. It does not say nylon, but uh, we're not going to tell anyone, right? Never mind my dirty workbench. <laughs> I'm going to put some of that in here, as well as in here, and in here. I definitely want to get this all in my hand. Do not want to get this all in my hands because, yeah. I'm just going to put some all around the outside here because, ooh, it's already smooth now. That, that stuff works really well. Wow, okay. It didn't put very much at all, like, just like that much. That's all it made all the difference. I'll stick some down here. 
Ooh. <laughs> it is amazing how much difference just that little bit. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. That made a huge difference. That made a huge difference. I don't know if you can see it, but it's in there. Like, I didn't have to put very much and it's already, this here, like, it's it glides so easily. I can't, I can't describe. Like, it wasn't like sticky before, but I could feel it catching, if that makes sense. Like, cause it's so dry, you know, cause it would still move, but it was so dry. And this here, I mean, wow. And that's the problem that I had. It was not going all the way over into reverse. Like it was catching right there. So let me add a little bit more. Wow. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Way better, way, way, way better. Like earlier, it would just stick like it would stay, but now it falls, you know? So that's, that's how much of a difference it's made. Like it wasn't like sticking where it wouldn't shift before, but because I could still move it, but it was so dry that it was like, no wonder it wasn't shifting well. Wow. It's amazing how, if you don't know any better, then you just keep driving it, how it can slowly creep up on you like that. That's amazing. <laughs> Whoa! Um, yeah, it's kind of dry in there. Well, that's just a little dab will do ya. Especially on this back side because it looks to be pretty dry. And on the back side here. Oh yeah, it's dry in there. So I'm going to give it a shot. And I'm moving it back and forth like that so I can get, uh, especially the back side here, it was uh, rather dry. So um, if I move it back, um, I can get the outside and then boom it in, I get the inside. So. Um, and it looks like the inside of this, I know you can't see it, I'm sorry. But I've only got two hands and uh, I can test it out. I'm gonna even use my left hand. Oh, oh ho, 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 it's like butter. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's amazing how much difference that makes. It feels like a new car. What? I am excited to drive this thing now. I've actually dreaded you know, uh, stoplights and, and traffic. And I live in Houston, so um, I don't even like driving in traffic and stuff. Uh, you know, I like highway driving, it's fine. But up until... Wow, that is so smooth! Oh my goodness! Oh gosh. 
Oh, I'm so glad, so glad I'm doing this. It's gonna make my car so much more enjoyable. Okay, so if you have a notchy shifter in your C5 and it's kind of old like this, I would suggest doing this because why not? And it's not even bolted in and it goes into reverse. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's amazing, I'm so glad. So I'm glad I had to pull that back off because now I get to put the pin back in and it's, and it's lubricated. So push that all the way to the top. Make sure the little uh, grooves are at the bottom. Put all this together at the same time, which is really, really simple. Yeah. yeah. Wiggle that around a little bit. Um, now this is made where you can push it straight down and just leave it in this little slot. So. <laughs> <laughs> my little boy he's two he'll be driving this thing one day actually he can look back on this video and uh be able to see all his daddy's work yeah hi hi <laughs> hi you gonna come help daddy Hi, come help daddy. Hi. Daddy work on a car? Good job, buddy. You got it all fixed. There it is. Hi. Yeah, that's where it goes. That's right. It's a little bit big for it, though. That's a half inch going in. This is a half inch because it's three eighths. Ah! Yeah, it's this one right here. See? This one. Here, this one. Use this one. Yeah, put that one back. Got my little helper. Yeah, see? That's it right there. Go for it. Go for it. Here. Here. Look. There you go. Good job. Vroom, vroom. So pin back up. So weird. The guy Froggy, he had a uh, he put a zip tie here so it wouldn't drop down, and I think it might do that. Um, it's all the way up; it pops. So I mean, like there was a little, little click. That's all it was. It was just. It's okay. So it's not going to fix the notchiness in the transmission. That's that's you know a whole different video, but. Um, the resistance going into reverse is is gone like it's gone like it was like the day I went for a rip like it would uh, like it would uh, it would go and then it wouldn't go into gear it would go into the slot but it wouldn't go like far enough over because it was like really but now it's so smooth oh my gosh it works I put a little zip tie right here 
uh, underneath this pen so it doesn't go down. I don't Okay, I don't know if you could tell uh, on the video on the time lapse or whatever, but uh, one issue I had was the uh, cigarette lighter here was loose, so I, it actually screws in from the back, so it tightened it up pretty well. And then I was able to get snap on, it just snapped the uh, connection on the back just snaps on. And another issue I was having was this uh, Torx right here wasn't really, like I was using the very tips of my fingers, but it wasn't catching. And there's no like uh, typically there's a metal clip that goes on there that the screw goes into but there's no metal clip there so that one is in but it's not like secure and another thing i forgot to put this little rubber piece down so how to take the thing all the way back off that was the first thing i did and put that uh this little rubber uh, thing down with the four uh 10 millimeter nuts so um everything is back together it feels good uh this little boot just snaps back on I'll show you how that's done perfect that was easy peasy these little covers are what goes on the back I know you can't see it on the video but it goes on the back of this glove box thing they just snap right in and so that's done but also um, the the plug on the uh, gas cap hear that snap so i know that's working um and i know i plugged in the uh cigarette lighter here i haven't tested that because i don't have anything to test it with right this minute all right this second so let's put the shifter on the way and then back it up just a little bit stick the little key thing in here like so. <clears throat> okay, and then this little thing just snaps so gently in there, so. Goes into reverse, it's good. Man. Like I said, it doesn't do anything for the notchiness of the uh, actual transmission uh, because that's just the nature of the transmission. But as far as the shifter goes, I mean, this thing is smooth butter. Smooth butter. You can quote me on that. Anyway, uh, what else do we have left to do? Let's put this thing back together, this little vent thing it's got to go on the bottom because there's like a little sensor thing that thing snaps right there let's see that goes in here like so and that closes i don't have any more nuts or bolts to put in here so i guess let's go for a ride and see see how it works yeah Okay, it's about to start raining, so let me go for a quick drive. Remove the block from behind the wheel.
so good.
drivable, but like it wasn't a pleasure to drive. Like now, it's like it makes it so much more pleasant, you know, to, to shift. So I don't have any reservations about sending her out to uh, to drive in traffic or stoplights or any of that stuff right now because it slides into gear so much easier than it used to. Uh, so, like I said, I, I don't have a problem. Like I didn't have a problem with her driving before, but I had a reservation because you know it was it was sometimes difficult to put into first gear, like just right there. Um, but now it just like there's still the notching notchiness in the transmission, but the shifter doesn't um, impede. You know, before it was the shifter and the transmission. Now it's just the transmission. So, and I'm not looking to change the transmission at all. See, it goes right into first gear. Perfect. Um, second gear, so easy, so smooth. I can even let my 16 year old daughter drive this thing now once she learns to drive a stick. Because I don't want her burning my clutch because I just put it in. But she has a, a 98 Civic, which I'll be uh, documenting uh, next on this channel. Um, Got to do some uh, some repairs to that. It's a, it's a five speed, so she's learning to drive on that. She's done a great job so far. subscribe uh, comment below and uh, I'll be putting out some more content in the near future uh, some more repairs on the, uh, the Honda got an input shaft bearing which means you gotta pull the entire transmission uh, probably gonna do a clutch job uh, timing belt water pump um, let's see uh, there's the, uh, the driver's side window is off track and it's not working correctly so you're gonna figure that out it's got a engine light on which i think is an o2 sensor so i'm gonna figure that out so got quite a bit of uh 
repairs to do on that car mechanically as well as paint. So I'm going to do a uh, probably haven't decided whether to do a rattle can or to actually use a spray gun. But one way or another, I'm doing a very, very cheap paint job on that car, but it's going to look magnificent. Uh, I've actually never painted a car before. I've done primer. I've done bodywork and primer. Not very good at either one, but I'm going to figure it out and it's going to look amazing because YouTube. Thank you. Um, now, I guess that's it. I gotta fix that squeak on the train, or not the, fix that squeak in the uh, suspension up there. And that's that's pretty much it for this car. It's it's ready to go. AC blows cold. Um, radio works, but I haven't even used the radio in probably 500 miles because I've been driving with this new clutch and I love it. Like I said, like and subscribe, comment below, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.